When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Fucking Charles, dog. Let's go, man. Let's go. Here, you take this. We got a bow. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Damn, take a shot. This way. Something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. I got you, Charles. Side down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your. Of course. A Oops. gun will scare everything around. Sorry, Charles.
as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Follow the tracks. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's fucking hard to see when it's fucking. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Let's see what happens with the snow here. Caving. You can see when it's like shaded, dude, but if it's just pure white right? <gasps> There's one. Shh. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Now, Arthur. Oh, let's go, oh, man. There's one, there it is. Track damage after that. Dude, right in the fucking hot, mate. Look at me. You fucking little bitch. Come to daddy. Two of you. That's all we can carry. Let's go, man. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. All right, let me get this one, dude, because I don't okay. think. I'll go grab the other one. Dude, a headshot in and one to the hot. Skinned and studied. Okay. Dude, that's got two hundred and seventy eight anims. Come here, buddy. Come here, Texas Ranger. Come on, throw that deer and let's go. Get home, boy. Yeah. Jesus. Come on, then. Let's head back. <laughs> Careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. See, there he is. I knew you'd be okay with that. 
Beppo. It's easier when they ain't shooting. Bruh, back. what are you doing, game? Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Game, Soon. you're tripping. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Oh. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't the... even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Comb, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Oh shit. Uh Charles, I know you see that, right? Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Alright, boy. That's a big boy. Cut up here, off the trail. Easy, boy. It's all right. Talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. Bet you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. 
Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. He's over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Morgan, grab the goddamn thing. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise mm -hmm. to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loved me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's mm -hmm. the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Mm. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. How do you, uh... Would it be challenges? Hell yeah, I'll go, baby. Time to chat. Stay alert there, Javier. Hey. See you. 
its name but so can you get a chance send someone down the track back to that farmhouse okay why and that poor woman's husband needs burying of course and is it safe down there oh, just send someone sensible understood <laughs> Body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mikey should do it, but that ain't a good idea. There's a bunch of folks in the other building if you want some company. <laughs> Dutch is all the company I need. Okay, then. My man, Dutch. My man. wolves never heard such a ridiculous idea who gets themselves eaten by wolves i mean really who i didn't mean to i ain't yet. sure the answers we need are in that book reverend oh they are mr morgan well we have food now so well, someone's looking down on us made my mistakes what's that supposed to mean Whatever you want it to. How are you doing, Mr. Strauss? You are an oh, annoying okay. man, John Marston. I heard you See, and Charles you just went shut off up hunting. And get some rest. Yeah, we bagged a couple of deer. How are you doing, Mary Beth? <sighs> Cold and bored. Well, there's a stew coming. We found some deer. You feeling any better? <sighs> Not a whole lot. Can't seem to get warm. Well, I'm hoping we can get out of here soon. All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. I slept for most of it. Typical. This fucking guy. How you holding up? I've been better, but I'm all right. Well, we got some food now, at least. And I really want to try Ultra after leaving this area. See You're I... still here. Uh, Maybe I should scratch myself and feign a limb. Ain't you got nothing better to do? Whatever the beef is between you two, now ain't the time. <laughs> what, what happened? Can't even talk to anybody. There you go. Hey, Cat. I'm glad you boys made it back all right. We was worried. Yeah, hopefully we could get out of this hell hole soon. You staying warm there? Trying to. At least we've got a fire now. Yep. Mrs. Adler, once we get off here, is there somewhere we can take you? No. I, I don't know. I don't really have anyone. Okay. Well, you can stay with us as long as you want. We caught two deer, so there's food now, at least. Oh, well done, Mr. Morgan. And more Charles than me. How you feeling, Jack? My throat still hurts. Well, we'll be out of here soon, kid. So, you're still alive? For now. <coughs> well, yeah. Listen, listen. 
Try to stop Dutch getting all of you killed, because I'm about beginning to think he's finally lost his mind. And do what? <sighs> if we stop doing this, I don't know. I never knew. Hmm. Guess I could never figure that out, neither. He knows. How's that stew coming along? It's gonna be a good one. Oh well, shit. Hurry up with it, please. Where my boy Charles at? Thanks again. Wouldn't have got them deer without you. So keep us going for a couple days. Hopefully that's all we need. Mm -hmm. Alright man, let's go to the dickhead, dude. Days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folk been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah yeah boys That has some action, boys. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. 
You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa! Boy! Hold up here! What are you doing? Are we not getting out? All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? <laughs> 